Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm Delta7 and this is Heroes and Generals. In this video, I'm going to cover what should be basic, but I've noticed the occasional veteran still doesn't seem to know. First, it's pretty basic, how to play with other players. Second, is how to access the menu after you are in a squad. This is one that seems to elude most people somehow. And finally, after the game, to see your score, money gain, cost of your repairs, and what else might come to mind at the end of this video. But first, let's start with how to join and add friends. First off, you'll have to add a friend by clicking on the three little people at the bottom left corner. Then, from here, to add a friend, you click on the plus sign and type in their name. Then you would have to click on the search icon right here. From there, you'll gain a list of all the people with that particular name. You would click that and click to add friends. Fortunately, Sniper McRifle is already a friend of mine, so we can skip this stage and move on. To create a squad, simply click the shield on the bottom left of the screen. Click the Create Squad button, then choose the faction you so desire. For me, it shall be the Soviet Union. From this screen, you choose what type of squad you want to have. Guard and infantry are more, more than likely what you will have at this point. So click the Create Squad. From here, to invite a friend, you simply click Invite Friends. Click the person you want to invite, and then send the invite. Now from here, you're going to want to hit the Enter Combat button. Problem is, my friend has not hit the Ready button. Now that he has hit the Ready button, we can enter combat. Click the Enter Combat, and this is where you can choose whether to enter a staged battle, a skirmish, or the war itself. We are too low of a rank to go to war. From here, hit the staged battle. In this screen, you can choose what map you want to play on. Normally, from low levels, you only have the depot. The skirmishes are not available until you are level 2. So we'll play on the depot. Click the find battle and wait until the game starts. I will come back after the match has ended and show you the end game screen. Now that I've finished the game, Let's take a look at what we've earned. At the top right, there's three buttons. You have Battle, Scoreboard, and Soldiers. The game will always default you to the Soldiers tab. As such, let's take a look in this tab first. As you can clearly see, I have gained 274 experience. The game will also tell you, if I was a veteran, I would have gained an extra 274. If you were curious on how you got your experience, the game breaks it down by giving you points as well as the experience for each point. The game also shows you your combat ribbons earned. Let's take a look at the M1 Grand. As you can see, I gained 1,873. As before, the game will tell you how much experience you would have got if you were a veteran. Next is the battle. The battle will tell you how much you've earned for that match, and like before, how much you would have got if you were a veteran, as well as the losses for that war, or in this case, the skirmish. The final tab is the scoreboard. Just like any other FPS, this will tell you what you scored, your kill-death ratio, and what position you ranked in the match. From here, you may also add friends. Let's say I want to add Gandalf. You click the plus sign beside his name. Anyone who doesn't have a plus sign is already your friend, or you. To find out what your repair bill was, you click the very bottom left in the notifications. It will pop up here. As you can see, mine says I have no repair bill. But this is because I do not have my weapon set to auto repair. This brings me to my next point. To access the menu while still in squad without deleting the squad, or if you are joining a friend, to leave the squad, all you have to do is click the shield again. It will minimize the window, leaving you in the squad. Each weapon has a wrench at the bottom left of its card. This is where you will repair your gun as well as refill your ammo. You can click the auto repair and auto refill to have it automatically do this at the end of the battle. In this particular situation, the auto refill will not mess me up right now. But in some cases, I may not have ammo and trying to auto refill it will not auto refill it right away. To fix this, unclick it, refill it, then click again. This will automatically refill your ammo. That way, at the end of the next match, it will stay topped up. I've been Delta 7, and this has been another guide to Heroes and Generals. If you have any more questions or suggestions for another guide, please put them in the comments below. And until the next video, see you on the battlefield.